Early access to this special preview game was provided by EA Fire Monkeys. Hi everyone, welcome back to Contrary Sims. A new Sims free play update is about to drop and you know what that means? That's right, there's a new live event starting. I hope you're prepared for another round of endlessly collecting craft materials. I know I am. So this is the Brilliant Backyard live event, the title event for the new Brilliant Backyards update. This event will be available on or around the 16th of October, Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is pretty much right now. So if you don't have the update yet, check your app store. It will hopefully be there now or at least very soon. The event will run for nine days, even though it does say 17 days in this preview. You can see here the event timeline with the prize packs in the order that they will be unlocked. And at the end is our final prize for claiming them all, which is the Brilliant Backyard House Template. We'll look at that at the end. If you've done the Backyard Beautification event in the past, this will all be looking very familiar to you, because these are actually reskins of the garden and outdoor items that we got in that live event, including raised garden beds and plantable flowers, shrubs and sculptures. I'm not really bothered by the repetition so much since it will be nice to have a bit of variety to these garden beds and they are actually compatible sets that can be used together and mixed and matched. These ones could potentially suit a slightly more rustic style garden as they are made from slatted timber rather than the sleek concrete of the last ones. Let's go ahead and have a look at each of the prize packs in turn. With all the sets, you will get one of each item for free, and then after that they will cost you. The first pack unlocked during the tutorial is the Pretty Planters pack, which includes a short one square planter in walnut stain, and some agapanthus to plant in them. The first pack is always just a little taster pack with a couple of small items from the upcoming packs. I'll give you a closer look at those when I get to the other garden items in a few minutes. For now we have some glass and metal garden screens that can clip together and be used as fencing. They come in two separate packs, one with the one square and two square wide screens, and a second pack with some four square wide screens and corner screens. So here they are. The, uh, the first screen with the tree printed on glass comes in a separate pack later on. There is also no three square wide screen, but because they clip together, you can just combine a two square and a one square piece together. And these all come in both a white metal and a dark metal color. The next couple of packs unlock a set of modular garden benches, again with the two different sizes in sets, a short set and a long set and they all come in both walnut with black upholstery and in redwood with purple upholstery. Now these, I swear I've seen this exact style of bench at Ikea. Am I dreaming? I do like these though, the wood tones are nice and warm even though they are still quite a modern style, I think they could pair well with more rustic items for more of a cottage garden theme. Okay, now we're getting to the real stars of the show, for me at least. Some more raised garden beds and plantable items. The first planter set comes with some garden sculptures and a set of the shorts planters that sit low to the ground in walnut and redwood again. We have the one square redwood partner to the one that we got in the very first pack, plus a two square wide, a two by two, a three square wide and a four square wide and a corner piece. So purchased separately is another pack with a cactus and an aloe vera and the taller pieces in all the same sizes as the previous pack. Here they are placed down on the lot. I really like how these ones clip together even at different heights and the two square pieces actually look really nice terrace next to each other. I feel like the concrete set from the previous event didn't really look right if they weren't the same height set. You can see we didn't get a whole lot of plantable items this time, just two sculptures and the three plants. I feel like we got a lot more in the backyard beautification event. I do really like these though, the little birdhouse is adorable and this tiny fountain pot thing is very nice too. You can also change up the style of the base in the planters, so you can either have the plain dirt base, 
this really nice space with colourful succulents and rocks, or a grass base. Also, I mentioned this at the beginning, but if you have the plants from Backyard Beautification, they are compatible. So you can place the plants from that event into these planters and vice versa. So that does make them more versatile. And I wouldn't argue with getting more styles of these in the future, like an even more rustic one, maybe with stacked stone or something. Oh, and really nice ornamental vegetables like giant cabbages and kale and some climbing runner beans. That would be so nice for building like a cottagey kitchen garden. Please make it happen. By the way, the big fountain you can see here is unlocked separately in a different pack to the garden planters. I'll get to that. Next we get some outdoor kitchen items in three separate packs. I'm not sure why they've been divvied out so much, but what can you do? They come in the two colorways again, black with grey tops or steel grey with white tops. The outdoor cooking pack comes with a new barbecue and outdoor pizza oven. I wish I'd thought to bring a sim over to show off the pizza cooking animation in case you hadn't seen it. It is quite cute when they're flipping the pizza around in the air. And our last pack is a hodgepodge of the items that each pair with packs we've already looked at. So we have that single outdoor screen with the tree printed on it. Uh, the nice big fountain we just saw with the garden items. And lastly, this outdoor bar table. I got a little excited when I read the pack title was Brilliant Bar because I thought it was a new outdoor bar as in a bar for serving drinks, which we don't have enough of that can go outside, but nope, it's a table. This is a nice modern table that could work as outdoor dining at a home, or I could see this as like a pub beer garden table. So here's an overview so you can see the full collection of items in the two different colour sets. Once we've unlocked all of those prizes, the final prize is a new house. Again, this is an exact copy of the house we got in the Backyard Beautification event, except the outdoor items in the courtyard have been swapped for the new prizes. The good thing about the house prizes, even if they aren't new designs, is that you get the first for free and houses get really expensive when you've built up your town. Plus you get any of the items in the house for free as well, of course, so you get a nice selection of the new prizes, plus some rare furniture items from other events and quests that you might not have unlocked yet. Heading inside, we have a mezzanine entrance, which is something you might not have unlocked yet, so it's kind of cool. And through this big open plan living space, we can head out to the backyard. Sorry, anytime I see one of those island villa doors, I just have to click on them and open and close them. It's a compulsion, I can't help myself. So there's the kitchen set over here. Snaking around, we have some of the seating in this corner. We've got lots of the new planters around the edges. Uh, and the beautiful new fountain is over in that corner as well. By the way, these yellow stools here, I think these are exclusive to this house or the one from Backyard Beautification. So if you like them, you can only get them by poaching them from houses. I don't think I'll do a more detailed tour of the inside of the house since it is one we've already seen before. So I'll just give you a bit of an overview of the floor plan instead. Downstairs we've got the living space, an office with its own little courtyard, and a small bathroom and laundry behind the stairs. Upstairs there's a big master suite and two rooms for kids, so it is a pretty nice practical home for a sim family. It's definitely got that going for it. If you do want to look more closely at the house on your own, you can actually open up a preview version by clicking on the little magnifying glass in the corner of its picture in the live event screen, just in case you weren't actually aware of that. Thanks for watching, I'll have more videos on this update releasing as well, so watch out for those. Ugh, why must sims always scratch their butts? I really wish they wouldn't do that. 
Well, she's happy with herself anyway. Look at her bouncing around. Never mind. I'll speak to you all really soon. Bye for now.